Welcome to Marquette. I'm Natalie. I'm a current biomedical engineering student here, and I'm going to be your tour guide today. We're standing in front of Engineering Hall in the heart of our campus in Milwaukee. Engineering Hall is where a lot of our students spend their time. Engineering Hall is home to great labs and study spaces, which I'm going to show you today. Let's get started. Welcome to the fourth floor of Engineering Hall. The fourth floor is home to wonderful views of Milwaukee and also our Water Quality Center. Today we have Dr. McNamara here with us to tell us a little bit about what's going on in his lab. Thank you, Natalie. It's a pleasure to have you here and welcome everyone. I hope you enjoy the brief tour here. Um, so we are located here in Milwaukee, a wonderful city to research water. And what we do here in the Water Quality Center is investigate how to treat our water, remove pollution. We have some drinking water pipes, 100-year-old pipe from Milwaukee that we research. How do the different infrastructure materials affect the bacteria that we drink? And this stems from the Flint crisis. And we have a lot of good graduate students and undergraduate students working together that you can see in this part of the lab. And it's a really exciting place to uh, learn both classes and labs as well as research here. Thank you so much. It sounds like you have some amazing research going on here. If you guys want to take a chance to use your 360 view and look around and see all the cool things going on in the lab, now is the time to do so. Thank you, Natalie. Thanks. Now we're in the Human Performance Lab. This is my favorite lab in Engineering Hall because I got to take classes here as a freshman biomedical engineer. We have three different types of biomedical engineers at Marquette. We have biomechanics, bioelectronics, and biocomputing. We also have a, my friend Efrain with us today to tell us a little bit more about what's going on in this lab. Yeah, so in addition to having your freshman lab here, you're also introduced to cutting edge research going on all around you. The research done by professors both at Marquette University and at the Medical College of Wisconsin. An example being the use of the Woodaway treadmill, which is a six degree treadmill that is used to parameterize a variety of different diseases to help us better create treatments to help these patients. Thanks so much, Efrain. Of course. Now we're in the Discovery Learning Center. This is a great place to get hands-on in engineering starting as early as your freshman year. There's a lot of great tools and equipment around me, so take a few seconds to look around. Another part of the Discovery Learning Center is the garage. The garage is where some of our student organizations, such as the Baja team, work on designing and creating their cars. These cars are then used in competitions across the country. We're in the shock physics lab. This is Dr. Borg, a professor and chair of the mechanical engineering department. Dr. Borg, can you tell us a little bit about the research that's going on in this lab? Sure. This is a, this is a light gas gun, and we use this to uh, fire targets, uh, to fire projectiles at targets. This is an example of a projectile that we shoot, and this would be a target after we have shot it. So basically, we load this projectile up into this barrel here, and we pressurize this breech in, and we fire the projectile down the barrel. It hits the target, looks something like this, and, uh, and then this is the target here. Here's the bullet after it's been hit, and this is the projectile. Wow. So what can you learn from this kind of research? So we're interested in the dynamic response, ballistic response of materials like sand and concrete to understand how we can make them stronger for earthquakes or withstand ballistic impacts and things like that. Awesome. Well, this is just one example of research you can do in the mechanical engineering department at Marquette. Thank you so much, Dr. Borg. Sure. It's a lot of fun. Now we're here in the engineering materials and structural testing lab. This lab is where a lot of our civil and construction engineers spend time learning. We have a construction engineer with us today, Colin. Colin, can you tell us more about what goes on in this lab? Of course. A few features to point out in this lab are behind me there's a strong wall, below me is a strong floor, above me there's a 10-ton crane, and to my left is an actuator that can be used to test different materials, including concrete and steel. For example, the concrete design class here at Marquette uses this actuator to press down on a concrete beam to test its compressive strength. Sounds like a great way to get hands-on before going into the real world to build. Thanks so much, Colin. We've walked across the street to Haggerty Hall, and we're here today with Lewis. Lewis, can you tell us a little bit about electrical and computer engineering at Marquette? Hi, Natalie. We're here in the computer visualization lab today, where algorithms are being developed for uses in many other fields of engineering. For example, research is done here for the United States Department of Agriculture where drones and algorithms are being used to tell farmers where there are more insects on their crops and therefore farmers can better use their resources to produce higher yields. This is just one, one of many applications that electrical and computer engineering gives to other fields and as an electrical and computer engineer here at Marquette, you have a lot of options with what you can do. 
Thanks so much, Lewis. Thank you, Natalie. Regardless of what type of engineering you choose to study at Marquette, we have the resources here to support you. We're currently in the Engineering Student Success Center. This place is home to our drop-in peer tutoring, and it's also a great space for collaboration with your peers. We've reached the end of our tour. If you'd like more information about Marquette Engineering, make sure to check us out online. Also, look at our YouTube channel for more videos on what Marquette students do outside of just studying. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you on campus soon.